Right, in this one we're going to use the replay tool. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick through my menus, going to go to uh, unfiltered, back to my uh, creativity toys and pick the uh, replayer. Right, not the repeater, it's the replayer, the one I want. The replayer. Now what this is, is like a video control settings. It records anything you build in the toy box. But the problem with this, you've got to create the controls that to use this toy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create some buttons that will start it, stop recording and all the various options. So I'm just going to chuck in four buttons here on the screen. So I'm going to do four little triggers. One to start recording, one to stop recording, one to clear what I've done and one to play back. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do now, uh, oh yeah, and I'm also going to put a little button at the top here that when I uh, shoot this target, a passageway is going to appear, but you'll, that'll come apparent towards the end, as you'll see. Let's chuck this on the wall here, on the screen. So we'll chuck that in. Right, so what I'm going to do now is if I set my various tools up, so I'll come out in, get my wand out using the arrow key, the left arrow key on the keypad, and I'm going to press onto the first button. So aim on the first button, go to my settings with the square button, create a new logic connection. When I step on it by a player, any player, yeah, I would like and point my connection to the, replay, the uh, replayer to start recording. Now the second option, when you click onto there, new logic option, uh, any player steps on it, I'm going to point it to my replayer and I'm going to stop recording. Now the weird thing is you set these options up but once the game's on you will never use these again, these are just purely for the setup. So on this particular one, create new logic connection, when you, any player steps on it, yeah, any players. Uh, I'm going to point onto that setting there and then I'm going to clear anything that I've built during that section and on this one I'm going to replay it, new logic connection, when I step on it, any player, I'm going to play back what I've built. So you, anything you add to the toy box you can make disappear, anything you put on, on and you can make reappear. So if you wanted people to disappear like they've exploded or vanished, you can use that in a, a replay tool as well. So now that's all set up, I now need to activate the recording. So you'll see that I've got no wand out, I'm now going to step on the first button, I am now recording anything I build. So anything I build is going to get repeated. So I'm going to bring my toy back up and I'm going to see if I can find the, uh, the building section and see if I can find the, the exact same piece of wall. Hopefully I will do. There you go. And I'm going to slot that into place. So I'm going to put that wall in there. And hey presto, I've now recorded myself doing that item. So, tick it into place. Get out of my menu. So, circle out, so I'm back to my person again. And I'm now going to walk onto the stop button, which is the second button, which is now done. Now if I want to clear what I've just built, I'm going to press my third button to show you what happened. And hey presto, when I click onto that button, it will clear anything I've built in that process. So it now looks like it never happened. Or I can play that item back, anything I've built will reappear. And that hasn't had to be one object, it could be 10 or 15 objects on the screen. So what I'm going to do here now is, I'm going to make this secret passageway appear when I press this button. So I'm going to get my little wand out again, point to the little target. Okay, when I do a connection with that, when you do a new logic connection and you hit that target, I'm going to point to my uh, replay tool and I'm going to clear what I've done. And now I've got this magical secret entrance appear. So if I now shoot the toy, the doorway appears and I can run away. Uh, those other buttons are not needed anymore. You could actually get rid of those once you've done it. But see what you can do with that. Uh, and see how it goes. It's quite a handy little gadget. Uh, it's how I wanted magical doorways to appear. Thanks for listening. Catch you later.